David Pecker's testimony told the story of how his tabloid rag was transformed into a political weapon wielded for and by candidate Donald Trump. Trump, Pecker, and former attorney Michael Cohen created the Catch and Kill scheme. Pecker described it in detail for the jury. He told about an August 2015 meeting in Trump Tower where the Catch and Kill agreement was presented to him. The prosecutor asked this question. Prior to that August 2015 meeting, have you ever purchased a story in order to not print it about Mr. Trump? No, Pecker said. The goal was to find stories that could damage the former president's image, and there were plenty of them, and then kill those stories, pay for them, and then hold them. Stories like the Playboy model and the porn star and their alleged affairs with Trump. At the same time, his wife was at home with their new baby. But catch and kill cut both ways. Pecker testified that he also was tasked with planting false stories about Trump's political challengers. These were particularly damaging to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz's father caught with JFK assassin? Ted silent on dad's photo scandal? And then here, Trump doubles down along with the inquirer. Donald Trump blasts Ted Cruz's dad for photo with JFK assassin. These are all lies. These are made up. We know now why Trump is so obsessed with fake news. He invented fake news. This was all just invention and lies. He also went after Marco Rubio. Family man Marco Rubio's love child stunner. Senator Marco Rubio's cocaine connection. Shady lady who could ruin Marco Rubio. And then maybe worst of all, I don't know. I think insulting someone's father is pretty bad. Ben Carson presidential candidate, was a surgeon, is a surgeon, and they have these fake photos that Ben Carson left a sponge in the patient's brain. Brain butchered Ben Carson in cancer cure storm. You know the saying, you can't make these things up. They did make these things up. Unbelievable. I, I don't know. So the jury has seen all of this and heard all of this. I won't even show any of the ones about Hillary Clinton because it's just too disgusting. Now, Pecker is the former CEO of American Media Inc., the parent company of the National Enquirer, you know, that supermarket rag that people actually do read. He testified for three days. Trump is on trial for allegedly committing fraud by falsifying business documents in connection with another alleged crime, election interference. Now, Pecker has laid the foundation for the rest of the trial by carefully outlining the catch-and-kill scheme, by explaining how it worked and why they did it. He's been excused from the trial, but he could be called back. It depends. I'm Gloria Moraga, political woman. Please subscribe.